Hello everybody, welcome back to Prey. Uh, I, I think I got my fucking thing working so that it's actually recording my voice through the mic this time. So, yay! I really don't know what happened. It just, like everything was fine, it said it was recording, and it just wasn't actually recording. Um, but anyway. Uh, we are heading up to my office, which is up that way, to watch a video, which might hopefully explain some things. Oh, you don't look too good. Uh, yeah, take, take the banana peel and the lemon peel. I'm, I'm good sure... Morning, Talos. Warning. Tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to security. Okay, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure, uh, oh, there's some stuff in here. Uh, I'm sure that those, oh, God, those fruit peels will come in handy. Ah, glue shit that went right in front. Ow, oh, Jesus. Can... Alright. We're just gonna... Hit! Ow! Ooh, that did a lot of damage to me. Is there not actually glass there? Oh, the glass is broken. Look at the floor! Okay. There's a neuro mod, though. Uh, use... Use the neuro mod. Install. Okay. What do I want now? Um, maybe might get the repair leverage could also be nice. Um, let's see if I get physician. Health kits normally health kits normally give me thirty health, so one hundred fifty give me forty five health. Hmm. Um, I think I'm going to get repair, because it's probably going to come in handy. Probably going to come in handy. Um, let's use that, because that phantom, I think it was called, did a good amount of damage. A used cigar. Why the fuck not? Explosive canister. Ooh, man, I don't know if I want to mess around that. Survivor's account of the evacuation, day one. I don't know why the evacuation is in quotation marks. Day one. I dropped, dropped, dropped off my dog at the groomer. Her name was Aliza. It means joy. I said goodbye and walked a few blocks to get some cafe bots near the park uh, some jets flew over very low and the sound was so loud it made me jump I don't know where they were from but they were bristling with bombs and rockets everyone was looking up and the sound of the jets were was echoing off the buildings but we could not see them anymore the sky was clear and I could see pink smoke rising from the direction of the stadium then the sirens started I had not heard them since my childhood. Some people stood confused, but my instinct told me to run. Run away from the stadium. Run away from Eliza. Some people were running with me, but we didn't know where to go. I saw a policeman directing people into a basement restaurant. I think it was an old bomb shelter. I looked up at the sky again and saw an airliner. I w it was not military, I'm certain. 
I think it was going to the airport. While I watched, it turned into glitter without a sound. It was just gone. A man near me began to curse. I fell down and hit my head on the street. Jesus. Okay, so some shit went down at some point. Some pretty... 1960 Whoa. After the attempted assassination of Hang Kennedy, on. 1960, Start at the beginning. A top secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos 1. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's attempted. departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. 2030. Talos 1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. Okay. Nice little history lesson. Oh, hey, there's Kennedy. Old Kennedy, because apparently in this timeline he doesn't get assassinated. Apparently America works with the, the Soviets. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff on the floor that I didn't see before. Um, so that's interesting to know. Okay, Jesus. Whoa! Your suit is damaged. The better condition your suit is in, the more damage it will absorb from enemy attacks and hazards. Use your suit repair kit to repair your suit. Jesus. Okay. Fuck. Ah! Did those other things die in that explosion? Hoping they did. Jesus. Oh, man. Do I have a suit repair kit? Is that a thing that I have? Uh, yes, I do. Use. Was not expecting them to just explode that. Oh, come on! <sighs> really? God damn it. Okay, back here. Uh, haven't gone out this door yet, so I'm sure those things are still around. Ah, ah yeah. Oh my god, I hate trying to hit these things with this glue gun, because it's hard. Because their hitbox is very tiny. Ouch! A 
top secret Cold War negotiation culminated with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Plekka. Oh my god, hit it. Plekka, Russian for cave, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day be go? Talos 1. Jesus. Okay. Was well, there still another one around? I don't know. But now I need to fix my suit again and heal. Actually, use the other one too. Okay. Um. Ah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, that one had bullets for some reason. Uh, can I take these plants like I did the other one? Well, not the plants, just the uh, flower part. Give me that. Yeah, I don't know what I need them for, but I'm going to take them. Am I going to be able to hack this? No, I didn't need a key card. Okay. So much to look at. Ooh. A banana peel. I don't really need a banana peel. Still got that other one sitting in my inventory. I don't know. I don't really know what uh, I'm going to use it for. But it's there. So are these flowers. Oh, the dead person. We got, got some things. Didn't really look at it, I just took the stuff. Oh, jeez. There's a few dead people. Oh. Oh, it's a turret. I was like, okay. A baseball glove. Do I need a baseball glove for anything? What was that? Broken cooler fan and spare parts. All right then. Scanning target. No type of material detected. Oh, all right. What is this? Veggie blend. Ah. Okay. That. Uh, wasn't what I wanted to do. Okay. Gonna have to eat some food now. I need this veggie blend that I just picked up. Mm, noodles. I don't want to eat the biohazard waste. Uh, I don't think I need any of that shit. Uh, eat the apple. Peach just symbol. This mm, pudding. And I think that's all I got. Got me up to uh, forty. Woo. Hmm. Ooh, tomato jerky and cafe karsk. What is what does the cafe karsk do? Uh, it's also five health points. Drink that and eat the jerky. God, God damn it. I really need to just realize that those things are going to pop out wherever they feel like it. Because I still get started by them. 
and I shouldn't, because I know that it can just look like anything. Like that. Oh, there's two of them. God damn it. Oh, there's three of them. Ow. Alright, there's two down. God damn it, I'm fucking losing health like crazy. An actual gun would be fantastic. Ugh, man. Was there even anything useful in here? This doesn't look like it. Hmm. Same room. Uh, that's all blocked off. Yeah. There's things to repair in there, but I don't know how to get in there. Oh, good, you have a med kit. That is fantastic. I don't know why we need the dramatic reveal for the restrooms. Um, could, I honestly don't know why I'm taking all the flowers. Just because I can. I don't know what I need. So I'm just grabbing things. Oh, another med kit. That is awesome. Ooh, what is this? Not the toilet. The space elevator. Some light reading while you're on the toilet. Excerpt from article Stairways to Heaven by Dr. Angelina M. Allen. Early United States dominance of the first operational space elevator, the White Stork Tower, has allowed them to control almost all orbital activities. Did I say orbitable? Orbital activities and commerce. Now the rest of the world is playing catch up. The World Union of Space Industry, WUSI, has calculated that using the Stork facility to aid in construction of a second space elevator would result in construction costs that are one quarter of the original. Understandably, US officials have balked at the idea of helping competitors build a cheaper platform that could give them a competitive advantage. Stork representatives maintain that the sizable investment risks for the original platform justify the protection of this economic space. In the meantime, WUSI has aggressively moved to purchase ideal sites for future space elevators, essentially space age squatting. Interesting. It's kind of odd to think about, like, when our society actually does decide to start colonizing outside of our own planet that there's going to be weird economic conflicts from that it's weird it's weird can i hack you yeah i can that's a one and i got one uh whoop 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 stop it yeah cool what is this room? Looks like a bunch of servers. IT security. I see you over there. Oh, I see you right there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That one's on fire. Ah! Good morning, Talos. All personnel Whoa! Jeez! Oh! Okay. Yeah, I get it. Thanks. Fucking hell. Yeah, okay! Right.
Alright then. That thing moves way faster than I thought it would. I don't know what I was actually expecting. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like. If you're feeling generous, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time.